everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a what's new in my wardrobe video, which is actually just a haul video. But the reason why I'm calling it like a what's new in my wardrobe is because I have had these items for a while and I have been using them. So I'm not really showing you like what I've just bought. It's just I've been buying a lot of things like since my last haul video and I just haven't had a chance to share them with you so I wanted to do it today in this video. There is quite a lot of items so I will get right on started. And if you're new to my channel I just wanted to quickly say hello and welcome. My name is Saki. I make videos every single week about cute and girly style and fashion and I really love pink things. I really love handbags and really if you like any of the things in this video and if you like my aesthetic I feel like you should subscribe to my channel because we have a lot of fun here and I think that you'll really like my videos. I just have a pile of crap here so I just will pick up the first thing and show you. The first thing that I want to show you is this blouse from the brand Paley Shop. I actually shop from here a lot I think recently in almost every single one of my videos I've been showing an item from this brand but I got this top not too long ago actually. I haven't even worn it because it's actually kind of recent. I will try to link it below if they do have it still. It's just this really really pretty like sheer blouse. It's got some really cute details such as this lace around here and it's also got these really cool sleeves with this like corset kind of design and then it has like a bunch of buttons right here as well. I don't really think that this is my style because it's a little too fancy but I really wanted to try it out because I love how like aristocratic it looks I guess. I don't know it's just something drew me to this blouse and I thought it would be really cool to do for like work outfits or just like semi-casual outfits in general. I think it would be really nice and I just love white blouses so much. I just find them very versatile and very comfortable to wear so I thought I'd pick this up and try it. Like I said I haven't worn it out yet but I do anticipate that it'll be very nice and I've just been really loving this clothing shop in general because their quality is so great and I love all of their designs. They just have such unique designs like I said I'll link it down below so you can check it out but yeah loving this shop. The next thing that I wanted to show you is this. It's really hard to show you like this but you will see it when I try it on. This is a tulle skirt from the brand Bliss Tool. So I've actually been stalking this website for like a year maybe now and I just love every single thing that they have on there. Basically if you've never heard of them they are called Bliss Tool and they do custom tool skirts and it's so amazing because they have a variety of different colors, a variety of different styles, lengths and everything like that and I love 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 tool skirts. If you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on my channel, I pretty much mention tool skirts in every one of my styling videos and my favorites videos just because I do seriously love them so much and the reason why I made this purchase is because I'm going to like an award show in Thailand on my vacation and I needed something really fancy to wear and I don't know, I just wanted something like really elegant and gown-like but I found it really stressful to find like a one-piece dress so I decided to go with a tool skirt and a top and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because I have haven't found a top yet but I did buy this skirt you know a couple of months or a couple of weeks ago and I did get it custom made so they do let you pick out the length and the waist. I think the length might only be on like maxi skirts so that you know it fits your length perfectly and of course they have shorter skirts as well. I obviously wanted a maxi skirt because I want it to be like a gown and you know full length so I picked this one out. I think this is their I think this is their Chloe Maxi. It's the one where it has a slit down the side. I love that detail so, so much. I just think it's super elegant. And you can like see your shoe peek out through your skirt. So I thought it would be really nice for a fancy occasion. And the quality is so, so amazing. Like this is my first time ever buying from them. I was always really hesitant to bite the bullet on their brand because it's very, very expensive. But I mean, it's custom made and obviously the quality is really, really fantastic. So I'm really glad that I did buy this skirt. I honestly think that I will buy another one from them in like a shorter or a mid length but yeah mine is just in this dusty rose color it I measured it to be exactly the length of my legs plus I think two or three inches because I always know that I'm going to wear it with heels and I think I'm gonna wear this dress to like all of my fancy occasions now like weddings and stuff like that too because it's just so beautiful and I ended up getting this size zero I think they have a smaller size that's zero zero and I think it goes up like I don't know 20 sizes past that so you definitely have to check the measurements to see like which size you are but there are so many different sizes that I feel like they have a size for everybody and like I said the length is customizable but you do get to choose like the size of the waist. The next couple of items are from my favorite Japanese brand Liz Lisa. The first item is this poodle skirt. I absolutely love skirts that are shaped like this. I've been getting into them recently. If you've seen a couple of my haul videos you will see that I have some like en rouge skirts like this. So I definitely jumped on this skirt right when I saw it. I just think that the style skirt is super flattering. It's kind of got like an A-line where the waist is a little bit narrow and then it kind of like flares 
flares out and I love how this skirt isn't too short or anything and plus the pattern is so freaking cute it's got these like little poodles all over it and it's also got like florals and stuff like that too which I absolutely love I got mine in the pink colorway I was actually really really torn between the pink colorway and the blue colorway because I love the color blue so so much but every time I try to buy something in a blue colorway when they have pink I just always choose pink because I just feel like I'm cheating on pink if I choose blue I don't know it sounds crazy but that's why I went with the pink one and I mean I love it nonetheless and it's also got pockets which is super amazing like skirts that have pockets are just the best and I'm actually planning to bring this on my trip with me which sucks because when I do that I like to not wear the items before my trip just because when I do go on vacation I don't like to bring a variety of different outfits so I like to save like a couple of pieces that I've never worn so that I don't like get sick of them right away when I'm on vacation so yeah I decided to save this piece for vacation and that's why you haven't seen it on my Instagram or anything yet but I will definitely be posting a lot of pictures with this on my vacation so kind of along the same lines as that skirt I did buy this sailor top from Liz Lisa as well this is another one of the pieces that I'm planning to wear on vacation so that's why I haven't worn it yet but it's just this like knit material it's definitely not too thick or anything for hot weather and if you didn't know this about me I do like to wear long sleeves in Thailand every time I go so even though you might think it's crazy that I'm wearing like long sleeves in really warm weather I just always have to cover my tattoos for my family and stuff so I always like to bring something long sleeved and yeah I just think that this top is super perfect with that skirt and it goes really well with the other things that I'm bringing so it's got this like really cute collar on the front which extends all the way to the back and it's got this like sailor flap kind of thing going on and the sleeves are like slightly cinched in like this so it kind of gives your um, sleeves like a little kind of bit of a balloon look which I think is really cute and yeah just super excited to wear this the next item from Liz Lisa that I have is this I think it's called like the gingham cafe dress and it's obviously just this pink gingham pattern and what's super cute about it is that it's got these like cafe dessert print so there's like a little parfait here or cupcake I'm not sure and a little cup of tea and then it's got like pancakes on it which I posted this on my Instagram maybe a couple of weeks ago and people were like are those pancakes on your dress I'm like yes <laughs> I just think that's so adorable I don't know why I just love prints with food on them maybe because I love to eat and I love food I'm not sure this is more of like a peachier pink in my opinion which I think is a color to look out for this spring because I have seen a lot of designers come out with like coral or like more peach items and yeah I've just been loving this dress a lot the last item from Liz Lisa is also something else that I've been saving for my trip and they are these shoes. I haven't worn these yet but I think that they are very comfortable. I mean I've just you know tried them on around the house and they're pretty great. They're just this like platform design and they've got this like little ribbon right here and they crisscross in the front and they like kind of clasp like this. I love these kind of shoes so much because I think they're super comfortable. Because they are a platform they are very easy to walk in and they also give me a little bit of height which I love. I of course love wearing like the traditional heels or pumps and stuff like that but I just think that sometimes on vacation when you're walking a lot you never know how those heels will hold up so I always prefer to opt for platforms if I can they did come out with these I think around the same time that they came out with these other items so they will go very very well together and I just think that these shoes will be very great on my vacation and will be super comfortable as well let's just keep going with shoes shall we so the next pair of shoes that I have to show you are my Chanel flats these are my first pair of Chanel shoes ever and I actually got them off a of fashion file for an extremely discounted price I think I got them for like 70% off retail price and they were used but they were I mean super gently used like I couldn't even tell that they've been used and they're just like this they're in the pink lambskin material and they've just got this like paint and beige toe cap and on the inside it says Chanel in gold the other details are that it has a little gold Chanel symbol right there so I actually wore these like all day recently and they are pretty comfortable the only thing that I would have to say is that I'm really glad that I wore like no show socks with them because they did rub on my feet a little bit it might just be because I hadn't worn them before and you know all shoes kind of do that another thing that I do have to say is that this is a, such a delicate material for a shoe I don't know why they decided to make lambskin shoes I mean you can already see creasing on the top and the back which is super super normal for shoes but like for how much these shoes are it's just kind of sad I did get them discounted so I don't feel as bad but I mean I just don't feel like I could wear these regularly and like be okay with like the wear and tear this is why I don't like to buy super expensive shoes because I'm just like they wear so easily because they're shoes but they were so expensive at the same time so yeah it's a constant battle I guess the next pair of shoes that I have are these pumps from Ted Baker these are the oh crap I already forgot the name I will link them down below though I think that you can still find them if not in this color then the white color 
They are just these really cute um, pink satin shoes with this like really cool like bedazzled jewel in the front. And then on the back it's just got this like really cute little rose gold bow as well. I just think that Ted Baker makes the cutest heels. I have another pair of like pink and rose gold pumps that I bought like last year and I just love these so so much. I actually bought these a long long time ago. I think I bought them in December thinking that I wanted to wear them for New Year's. Of course I didn't do anything for New Year's because I worked all night and I literally got home at 11.59 so yeah we just didn't do anything because we didn't have time but I did really want to wear these on New Year's just because they are so sparkly but unfortunately I'll have to save them for another occasion. I mean they kind of remind me of like Manolo Blahnik in the fact that they have like something really shiny on the top but of course they were like a third of the price. Oh actually they have the name of the shoe on the sticker on the bottom because they didn't take them off yet but they are called the Darlin Pumps. I'll just show you that because the spelling is a little bit strange. One thing I did want to mention about Ted Baker Pumps though if you are looking to buy them the sizing is really strange so you have to always check the sizing chart and make sure that you are looking at like the measurements like the centimeters and kind of like correlating that with the sizes they have because I do find that they run a little bit large so I bought this one in a 36 and a half which is usually my size for like every single shoe ever that or even a 37 but unfortunately these are a little bit too big so I would say that I am a 36 so you just have to be really careful with sizing on Ted Baker shoes I think oh wow so I actually have one more pair of shoes to show you I feel like wow I didn't even know that I bought this many shoes lately but I am going to go ahead and show you my first ever Christian Louboutin shoes and they are these right here I actually got these from a Canadian store called Essence and I bought these when they were having a sale so I didn't pay full price for them which I'm really really happy about and I also don't think that these go on sale very often I'm not even sure why these were in the sale but it was just like literally this specific pair and I just went ahead and jumped the gun on them because I actually have never owned Christian Louboutin shoes before and I was so so nervous about like the sizing and everything because I just wanted them to be a pair of really comfortable shoes and I know that Louboutins are not known for that so so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they were something that I could wear. I actually went with the pair called the Decolletes or the Decolette. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm just not very good with French. But they are the, I think it's 85 millimeter height. So they aren't like super tall or the super short ones. They are the ones that are kind of in between. And they just look like this. But one thing that I loved about these is that they are so reminiscent of like the So Kates, which I will probably never ever buy because the heel height on those are just ungodly and my foot does not bend that way anymore. So I don't think I will ever buy those shoes, but I love the way that they look. I love how like sharp and sleek they look and I feel like these shoes are very very much like that. I was actually trying to decide between these, the Irizas, and the Pigels for my first Louboutin shoe but I ended up buying this because one it was on sale and two I just love the way that it looks and I think for my next pair of Louboutins I will go with the Irizas because I love the way that the you know cut out in the foot looks and I actually do find these to be very very comfortable. I bought mine in a size 36 and a half and they fit perfectly so I would say that they are true to size because I'm normally a 36 and a half but yeah I wore these all day shopping once and they kind of got like you know scratched up and stuff but that's pretty normal I do wish that I had put some sort of a sole on the bottom like to protect it but honestly it doesn't even matter it's on the bottom and you can still see the very bright red like right here and they are totally fine so yeah I would highly recommend these I really only saw a couple of reviews on the decollete pump so if you do want me to do a review on them please let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to do one because I just love these shoes so much. So yeah, that was the last thing that I had to show you. If you liked this haul video, please let me know and please give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I do make videos every week. I'm trying to upload two videos a week, so you can look forward to that. And as always, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of all the items. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!